Hello, and welcome back to the office. We haven't been here in a while. I'm Dr. Wigo, and today we're going to be setting up and trying out and using the new Mac Mini base model, 16 gigabytes of memory, 256 gigabyte SSD. So let's start the setup. I have a camera over here that's pointed at the screen so you can see what's going on. I'm doing this live. So we'll put in the power cable and we'll plug in the HDMI port and the ethernet. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, this is suboptimal. I made a perfect little spot for it over here, except I'm having problems with the power on that side. So I'm having to plug it in on this side. So I had to move it over closer. It works. I'm in the setup. I'm going to go do all that off screen. Plus I'm going to work with the power and see if I can get it plugged back in on the proper side so I can get it back over where I made the space for it. I'll be back momentarily, but for me, it's going to be a while because I got a lot of setup to do. Two hours later. Well, that could have gone better. The Mac mini came with Mac OS 15.0. So it needed to be updated to 15.1. Well, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. And then once I got that up, then I had to download and so install DaVinci Resolve. And I had to get some of my files over from my PC. It was not a pleasant task. After a couple hours, oh, and I found a working power strip over here so that I got to move the, the mini back over in the little corner where I tucked it away back here, where I think it, it fits in perfectly. So just getting things set up took a lot longer than it should have. But I'm finally there. I got DaVinci Resolve, downloaded it, uploaded, ready to go. And I got my files moved over. I'm not as annoyed about the lack of an SD card slot on the front of the Mac Mini or anywhere on the Mac Mini like some people are because the Mac Studio has it. Because I use the CF Express Type A cards and those don't fit into that kind of slot. You need a special little reader. Well, I happen to have a special little reader that it's, and it's USB-C. So I can just pop these in here. Bingo. Let's go over here. Having two mice and two keyboards and two everything in front of you is also a little disconcerting. But I have my AirPods review set up. I record my audio separately. So the first thing I do is create a master where I take the main video shot and the external audio and mix them together automatically here, sync them. That works great. And then I drag this down here. Well, it's scrubbing pretty good. So let's cut out all that stuff at the beginning. So I cut out the extraneous bits. And here's the first test to see how good this is going to be. It's going to take 13 minutes to render a 28 minute video file. My PC does it slightly faster than that. But when this is done, we'll see about the speed. Because when you're exporting, you can just leave the room and go do stuff and come back later. But when you're editing, I want to see how it performs when I'm editing. 11 minutes later. Oh, and the reason you're getting a off axis view from a camera of the screen rather than a screen grab is because screen grabs take up CPU and memory, which I don't want to interfere with my performance testing. I'm going to try my new AirPod Pro 2s as hearing aids. That's why I bought them. So we do a quick edit there and a quick edit there. And now here's where the rubber beats the road. Flip over to the cut page. So if you watch this video where I unboxed the, if you watch this, oh. I'm exposing all my secrets of how often I restate things. I'll flip back over here. 
<laughs> I'm not going to sub subject you to this whole editing process because it takes me hours to fully edit one of these. I don't like how long it takes to export, but it's not that much longer than my PC, although my PC is three years old. So it seems that for video editing with DaVinci Resolve, this is going to be okay. Probably. But there's one thing, and it's the disk drive speed. And let me show you. Okay, 2,000 writes, 2,800 reads. Now that's the internal, the 256. So while the 256 gigabyte is two chips, the 512 and up are at least four chips. And on the benchmarks people have shown on YouTube, it's twice as fast. And then there's this, 26 write, 28 read. That's the Thunderbolt 3. And that's as fast as it can get because of the bus speed. But the Mac Mini with the M4 Pro has Thunderbolt 5, which will go faster than that. Probably need a Thunderbolt 5 drive, but they're available. So where does that leave me? You know where it leaves me if you're not new here. If you've been to the channel before, you know I'm probably going to return this one and replace it with a Mac Mini M4 Pro with a bigger hard drive, at least a 512, and maybe a little bit more memory just in case, because when you're doing the video stuff, it can eat up the memory. Now, it wasn't showing a lot of memory usage. I, I downloaded iStats. I like it. It's adorable. It fits in right here, and having all these extra things on the desktop aren't, well, they're annoying, but having the two keyboards and the two mice, and well, I don't know if you noticed, the two speed editors. If you remember, I'll link a video down below where I bought the second speed editor to use with the Max, because I leave the one attached to the PC always attached. So now I have another one for using with the Mac, and now I have two of them back to back here which is a little weird, but if you've been watching the channel, I'm a little weird. I started shooting this video over four hours ago, and it's just, it doesn't feel snappy enough for me. I mean, it's good. I like it, but I'm used to faster, or at least the appearance of faster. So guess what? There'll be another video in another week or two after this one, where I will be, I won't unbox it, but I will be, doing the same kind of tests with the M4 Pro Mac Mini that I already ordered because I, I watched enough uh, videos that I knew this one probably wasn't going to cut it for me. It was going to be close, and it is close. If I didn't have the money to go up to the M4 Pro, this is good enough. But I do have the money, at least now. I haven't retired yet. Once I retire, yeah. I can afford the upgrade. Yes, it's the $600 unit. It's being replaced by a $2,300 unit. This one was already on the way when I ordered the other one. So it'll be here sometime. Oh, and this is a weird thing. My original ship date for the M4 Pro Mac Mini was December 5th. And Apple has sent me multiple emails moving up the date into November. I think we're up to November 22nd now. But they sent me an email that says, we know we, you don't like this delay, and so if we don't hear from you, we're going to cancel the order because of the delay. It's not a delay. They're bringing it in like almost two weeks sooner, and they're saying, well, you know, if you don't get back in touch with us, we're going to cancel your order. To quote Brian Tong, that's a bad apple. You probably guessed when this whole process started that this wasn't the one I was going to be keeping, and you were correct. What we're going to find out is if the M4 Pro version with the Thunderbolt 5 ports and I have a Thunderbolt 5 drive on order too. It's going to be enough to get me to switch over and stop using this big beast after I retire. Several days later. Well, this has been an eventful week. So I continued working on the edit of the AirPods 2 video, and I realized it's a terrible video. The problem is, when I took the hearing test, I have little to no loss which is great for me, but not good for the video when I was going to be showing off the hearing aid function, which I don't need and it will not turn on because I don't need it. I was able to determine that the adaptive function, where it will tune the frequencies to your hearing, when I turn that on, it 
raise the high end, which is where what little hearing loss I have is, is at the high end. And it brings that up and it sounds so much better. So thumbs up on the AirPods Pro, not worth a video. AirPods Pro 2 are great, but I don't need hearing aids. I couldn't test the hearing aid function. That video is scrapped. You were supposed to watch that video this week and then see this video next week, but now you're seeing this video this week for another good reason. A couple of days later, I get an email from OWC that my Thunderbolt 5 SSD has shipped. And as you can see, it arrived today. I'm not gonna do an unboxing. I'll run some speed tests on the 599 Mac Mini to see what kind of speeds I get with this on Thunderbolt 4. But what we really wanna know is what is it like on Thunderbolt 5? I have news on that front too. I told you about the emails where Apple kept moving up the date and threatening to cancel. Well, yesterday I get an email from Apple saying, your Mac mini is ready to pick up at the store. So I'm gonna go pick it up tomorrow. I'll return this one and get the M4 Pro Mac mini, the one that's like four times as expensive. Um, hopefully it's four times better. I, I know it won't be, but we can always hope. But then I can run all these tests again. So I've done a bunch of speed tests with the Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 SSDs on this guy. And now I'll do it with the Thunderbolt 5 SSD. But when I get the M4 Pro, I will rerun all those tests and then we can compare the speeds of the drives to see the Thunderbolt 5 help Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 drives. I don't think so, but you never know. So things have changed. One video is out, but now another video is coming in. So, so next week will be the video about the M4 Pro Mac Mini, which I'm hoping does a better job than this one with DaVinci Resolve and all the things I was doing. It's been a heck of a week. I got a new drive and I'm, I'm getting a new Mac Mini tomorrow, but that won't be in time to go into this video because this video has to be uploaded shortly. So that will be next week. So that's the story. So I've determined that this Mac Mini is not quite the one for me, but I'm hoping I'll find out that the one I'm picking up tomorrow, the M4 Pro Mac Mini, will be the one for me. And you'll see all that next week. So that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye bye. I'm going to go to the Apple store tomorrow and get my new Mac Mini. Thanks for staying to the end. Bye bye.